is 02AJE96 and today I'm going to show you how to make a cooldown for a dispenser. Um, the cooldown will work for most things and basically what it does is it uses a memory gate and then reroutes the one part of the memory gate that's heading towards the dispenser through um, repeaters which will eventually end up and reactivate the memory gate making it able to be activated once more. So basically, um, as as long as those are still traveling all the way to the opposite end, um, you will not be able to reactivate it, because that will stay active until uh, that goes all the way to the opposite end. And even when it's on the opposite end, you need to wait for the other, um, pulse to stop being sent to the opposite end before you can activate it as well, because then it just won't activate. So, um, basically, uh, how many repeaters you have linking off the first arc into the second part of the memory gate um, is going to be half of the amount of time it will take for the cooldown. So, as you can see, I've just waited all this time, and it still hasn't quite finished cooldown, because all those repeaters need to be off. Ah, cool, it just turned off then. So now it is possible to dispense another apple, which is quite cool. So, I'm just going to show you, this is a memory gate, basically, uh, it turns out to be a block which goes one block into the other and another block into the other one, and then connects the two together, and basically how it works is when you send one half of the thing on, it'll stay on, and if the other half comes on, it'll turn off and the other half will stay on, and it's called a memory gate, often used in computers and stuff, basically it's kind of like a square like this with two blocks, um, two blocks diagonally away from each other and redstone torches facing inwards in the opposite direction and then you connect them up together when the back end is on the, the bottom end will be off and when the bottom end is on the back end will be off cool and you'll put a dispenser around the end of this arc by here the arc which is branching out of the block or uh, out of a redstone torch which is on the opposite to the um, one your um, pressure pad is heading into. And then after that you make pr um, repeaters from this arc back into the back arc and then that will determine how long the cool, ta the cool down will be. Like I said earlier, the cool down will be twice the amount of time it takes for the redstone to go through here as the redstone will have to go all the way through here and then right after it does that it'll then have to stop going all the way through there and end the beat going through before it can be activated again as you can see. So um, after it's finished like it just did then it will dispense an apple if you press it and that is how a cool down works. That's about it. Um, this is 02AJE96 and Merry Christmas everyone.